100 days of hardcore Minecraft is not an easy task. One wrong move, and your world will be deleted forever. In this video, you will watch the story unfold of how I beat Minecraft in 100 days. Also, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sidual here. This is 100 days of hardcore Minecraft, except there's going to be a little twist. I'm going to be doing Survival Island, and I have, the rules are going to be where I have to live and build on the island. Crafting table. How? And we need to get, like, trees going right away. Uh, just so we don't risk dying. Because so we're going to play the safe. All right, there's... Okay. Oh! Oh my god, there's a village. Let's just sabotage this guy's farm. Okay, carrots. And potatoes. Hmm. Okay, this is awkward. Oh my gosh. Did not mean to do that, I'm so sorry. On day two, I just stole from the villagers. Okay. okay. Need to make a smoker. Okay, stone. Ah, the look on my face says it all. Oh. My. Gosh. What just happened? I guess that was, uh... I mean, I wasn't close to dying, per se, so... Can you just blow up, bro? Let's do this. There we go. Okay. An iron sword. Iron pickaxe. And boom. Eat. Then we'll go carrots. Then potatoes. And let's go sugar cane. On day four, I went mining. I found redstone and lapis lazuli. And then I went on to make a shield. Well, because this is hardcore and I need to be protected. I then went and made a golden apple. But I wasn't sure if I really wanted to make this gold apple. Golden apple. Not much on day five. I just farmed. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Maybe? Oh my god! Cow! <gasps> Cows! So many! Oh. Meow. Plop! Nap time, nap time. Day seven, I kidnapped Come cows. In. Come on in. Good boy. Alright, we've got cows. Next move is sheep. Come on. Ta da! On day eight, I prepared to kidnap sheep. Come here. Get in the boat. Thank you. Let's go. Skrush, skrush. All right, one sheep done. In the boat. In the boat. In the boat! Yo, let me oh. sleep. Thank you. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Give me baby. Give me baby. Give me baby. Yo, my- Ah, oh, I fell in, man. No. I'm just gonna plant a ton of wheat, because I literally need wheat for um, the cows and the sheep. Alright, sugar right. cane's going. I need to plant more. What else? Alright, I'm gonna do more potatoes. I wanna get these pumpkins down. Day 11, I took dirt from the nearby island. I need to expand my farm. Oh, I need to for pumpkins. I want to go like this. During this project, I used an unreasonable amount of stone hose. But I'm gonna keep it going until I get around to that. Point. Woo! Holy cow, bro! Or just come out, chicken. You little punk. Get in there. Oh, wow. Thanks. What a guy. On day 13, I planted pumpkins. And I also bone milled those pumpkins so I could get pumpkins faster. Okay. Give me pumpkin. Not much on day 14. I just leveled up the land. And boom, I spammed boom, the island boom, with torches because this boom, is hardcore. Boom, boom. Uh, day 15. I took my sheep's clothes off. 
two more babies. Mm -hmm. Okay, that one's not even fully grown. Psych. Nine beds. That should do. Two emeralds for a bow. Hmm. I need diamonds. Okay, another ravine. Nice. <gasps> diamonds! Yes. Oh, three. Yes. Yes, boys. Yes. What day is it? 16. Yes! Six diamonds. Pretty good. We got it. Day 16, baby. In case you couldn't tell, I found diamonds. What do you guys think? Looks pretty good, huh? Ah, on day 17, first okay. diamond tools. I made a diamond pickaxe. Diamond shovel. And, well, I made a diamond shovel as well. Then the other two are going to be for the enchant table. Now that I had a diamond pickaxe, I could mine obsidian. And this would be huge. Now, I could go to the nether and make this enchanting Boom, table. And voila. Look at that. You know, while editing this video, I've come to the realization that I just really use the villagers. And I kind of feel bad. 33 books? Well, it's day 18, and I'm stealing yet another villager. You'll be one of my breeders. No! Oh god, villager, no. Well, that was a close call. Get in. On day 19, I now had two villagers on the island. I put them in their little boats and built them a cozy little home. Now, I'd place beds and try to breed them. Kind of dumb of me to not put light in here though, because I literally knew I didn't. Luckily for me, on day 20, my villagers didn't get attacked by zombies, yeah, and I just farmed. There. I'm gonna put water in the wall right here. Day 21. I got my villagers ready for breeding. Yes, I buy an emerald and I buy a carrot. Alright, I need you to farm and take care of these plants for me, okay, villager? Day 22, after dealing with the villagers, I decided to cut down all the sugarcane around the island. I was tired of not being able to see my cow's pretty faces, so I decided I'll make a sugarcane farm. And this farm was great. And it was very productive. Day 23, more farming. As well, you can see, I extended pumpkins. the pumpkin farm. Alright, we are rich. Went to check on the villagers. Need you guys to be and well, please. I fed them, because I needed some babies. Oh my god, they did! Easy. Later that afternoon, I just watched the sunset go down while I shoveled. On day 24, I made a bridge to the villagers. I was tired of swimming. Then went on to mine our first pumpkins. What's that, dude? A fire coral block. Pointed dripstone. Blue ice. Wow. Well, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't need you. It's now day 25, and I still don't have a house. So, it's time to build one. Now the island won't look so bare. Ah, look at that progress. And as you can see, I gotta make sure it's symmetrical, so... Oh yeah, best believe it. Still building. Still going. Gotta get the angles right. Well, I was one block short. No, I was one short. Once I made the outline for the house, I made a tree farm, because I needed wood. Day 26, I went and planted all those trees, but to be honest with you... I don't really like oak wood. My sand finished smelting, and now I had glass. So, I could work on the house. Okay, I had to get that dirt floor out, so I did, I but I only switched with cobble, and I know that's not really that much better, but it all looks right. a little better. You know, the island really is coming along. To end the day, I went and bred the cows and sheep, because I needed more. Day 27. Just, you know, took all the sugar cane and mine trees. Day 28. These two creepers tried to creep up on me, and for some reason I used a pickaxe. Now that I was safe, I went ahead and sheared the sheep. 
I needed that wool. Now this wool would be used for something important. I uh, I needed to disguise the cobble. I just, I hated it. It's day 29 and the villagers will be moving soon. Hey, more diamonds. And this time I found eight. After mining, I decided it's time to probably put up a wall. I need to be safe. After wall building, I made some more bookshelves. On day 30, the villagers moved to a bigger home. Finally, I had everything I needed to get level 30 enchants. I really couldn't stand not having enchanted diamond tools, so I decided to get it done. I also put this in the ground because I wanted it to look clean and good, and kind of hide it if I could. As you can see, this is why I put the bilk shelves in the enchant table in the floor. I could just hide it with carpet, and it would look clean. Day 31. Let the enchanting begin. I just put one level into that iron pickaxe so I could get an actual good diamond pickaxe enchant, which I did. Now that I had a fortune 3 pickaxe, I could mine those diamonds, and I kept mining. I found redstone, lapis, coal, and more diamonds. Day 32. I came up with 26 diamonds, so I made a diamond sword and a diamond pickaxe. Went ahead and enchanted that diamond pickaxe, and I got Silk Touch. Easy. As you can see, my wheat production is going very strong. I'm gonna be honest, I have no clue how this creeper spawned here with these torches. I enchanted the diamond sword, and sadly, I got Smite 4. Day 33, I spent forever trying to get this mending villager, but I did. I finally went on to make an anvil and placed it. Day 34, you know me, just trading with the villagers. Day 35, you know, just went on a big mining spree. Big mining guy as well. Turns out I got a lot of coal, a lot of redstone, and a lot of lapis. A few diamonds, but eh, you know, could have been better. Well, it's now day 36. I'm kind of rich now. I decided to go ahead and make that diamond chest plate. And I enchanted it. Not bad. All right, day 37. And I needed babies, so I spam potatoes at the villagers. Oh my gosh, my first emerald block. Enchanted another pickaxe, got an efficiency 4. And as you know, I already had one, so I combined them. Got that efficiency 5. Um, not much, day 38. I just kidnapped yet another villager, because they weren't breeding. On day 39, I turned him into a farmer. More farmers? More babies. Then went up to work on the wall. I decided I should probably make a, you know, entrance, a gate. And you can never be too safe, so why not? Now, at this point, pumpkin production is just through the roof. Day 40. Gotta go trade some pumpkins. Not really that good, though. Six for one. After trading, I went mining. And well, I found a mine shaft. But sadly, I couldn't find melon seeds. And I was getting so annoyed because it is one thing that was just holding me back. Besides the whole melon situation, it wasn't a bad uh, run. I got a good bit of diamonds off of this, so I'm not complaining. Day 41. We're going to the nether. It's been long enough, and we're more than capable and ready, I believe. So here we go. I'm not gonna lie. This nether portal could have spawned in a much better location. I was literally surrounded by so many magma cubes and constantly being barraged by ghasts. And I was honestly terrified at this point. So I, I ran I ran back. Now, I wasn't necessarily safe. The gas literally destroyed my nether portal and then catches me on fire. And I kind of was freaking out here. I was kind of scared. I was on fire in the nether. So I just blocked myself in and ate food because this is hardcore. Luckily, I had a flint and steel on me. So I just went right back home to safety. Day 42, I had had just enough of gas. So I made the cobble box so I would be safe. Hey, I found quartz. I'd love to use this in building. During my quest for the nether fortress, I came across some soul sand. Decided I'd snatch some up. I needed for my nether ward farm when I eventually got some. Hey, by the way, Minecraft added bones. Well, I never found a nether fortress, but I did find a nether forest. It's day 43, and I'm back from the nether. 
So I needed to, you know, attend to all my flocks of animals. You know, I bred them all, got all their resources, went ahead and sheared the sheep. They were getting a little warm, you know, so. Took a trip down to see the villagers. Didn't really have any breeding progress, so went ahead and planted more potatoes. Day 44, I made some more golden apples. Then I disposed of this cow that escaped. Made some blast furnaces. Normal furnaces, don't do the trick. Day 45 was spent in the mine shaft. Still no melon seeds to my name. Kinda sad. I did get to fight a witch though. That was fun. Day 46, we moved on to enchanting some diamond leggings. Next up, diamond boots. Could be worse. Could be better. You know, that fortune 3 pickaxe really has made me kinda rich. Day 47, I showed off my gear. You know, it's pretty nice. Just missing a helmet at this point. Well, what do you know? More diamonds. A stack of eight as well. Day 48, I brought my treasures to the surface. Went ahead and, you know, mined them with the fortune. Finally made that diamond helmet. Wasn't that good of a helmet, but I mean, now we're full diamond. All diamond tools, all diamond gear. And I felt that it was only necessary to go show it off on top of my glacier and above the island. Day 49 was a big day. I mean, I finally enclosed my base. I haven't had a roof this whole entire time. Anybody could just come in whenever they see fit. Wasn't very safe, especially considering this is hardcore, but we are safe now. Nothing to worry about. Ah, halfway there. Day 50. Went ahead and lit up the house. Didn't want any creatures spawning in, and it didn't want to use torches. I also ran into this guy. He offered me gunpowder, and that's about all he was useful for. Since it is day 50, you're halfway through. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Day 51, went for another helmet enchant. Didn't go as planned. All right, back to the nether. Decided to grab me up some uh, glowstone. Needed that for potions. And well, I needed some lighting in the house. Once back from the nether, noticed my villagers trying to make a baby. However, they kept failing. Last ditch ever here, I decided to get rid of the top layer of beds. And it was a great decision. My villagers now could breed peacefully and effectively. What do you know? As you can see, they didn't fail. And out pops a baby villager. How nice. Day 52, you know what I had to do. Went ahead and expanded the villager sanctuary here. You know, we needed more babies, so I can't stack the beds. So I had to just put them all over the floor, just like this. While down there, went ahead and added some lighting. No more torches though, we're too rich for that. Decided to put that glowstone to work. <sighs> put it on the house, no mobs up here. Day 53. Found me a poison spider spawner. They, uh, you know, poisoned me a few times. Had to deal with these skeletons and creepers and whatnot, but on the bright side, going in this mineshaft, managed to find me this zombie spawner. This is pretty huge. Now, easy levels right beneath the base, and as you can see, enchanted golden apple. Mm -mm. Back up on the surface, I was level 33 now, so I went ahead and did some enchants. I got a sharpness 4 looting 3 sword, and an efficiency 4 shovel. I can now combine my two shovels, give me an efficiency 5, so that was big. Lovely. Went ahead and went down to check on the villagers. As you can see, there's like six babies running around. And, well, I couldn't believe my eyes. It had only been one day since I redid their bed situation. So I decided to sleep with them. They kind of deserved it, so. Uh, day 54, mineshaft again. That's about it. Still no melon seeds though, so. On day 55, I began working on the new found zombie spawner. I needed this for levels, you know, quick easy levels. Of course, nothing compares to my villager trades, but this was pretty nice and I enjoyed it. Now, of course, keep in mind, I do realize this is not the best, you know, build for a zombie spawner, but it's the best I could do at the moment, and I really didn't want to put that much effort into it. This is, you know, reasonable. Works fine. I ended up editing it a little bit, but I needed it to be a little better. 
You know, we live through the villagers anyway, so. Day 56. Started out as any other day. Did some villager trades. Got some emeralds. Got some XP. Before you know it, I had a baby before my eyes. I felt so old now. But it was fine. Went up onto the surface. And I was like, hmm. Let's go on an adventure. So I just boated to wherever my little heart took me. And it ended up taking me to the snowlands. Which I was used to, considering I lived in the glaciers. But it was fine. More boating around. Still not much to be found. Until I came across this. And I was like, hmm. Wow. Abandoned nether portal. Gotta test it out. Gotta see what's on the other side. And then look at that. Two obsidian and a fire charge. So, I made the drastic decision. We're going in. And here we went. Now it is day 57. And I'm on the other side of the portal. And this is why this adventure was just so important. I found a nether fortress. Finally. As you can tell, I still had not gotten blaze rods. I still had not gotten nether wart. So, I made my entrance. And here we are. After a long, hard search, my hard work had finally paid off. I found nether wart. And I can now make potions. So I could beat this wither skeleton a little easier. Day 58. More searching. But this time, this search was even more worth it. Blaze. I found Blaze. Finally. And, of course, since I found him, I had to stack up on blaze rods, so I just went ahead and grinded them out for a good while, and I ended up with a full stack of blaze rods. I wouldn't be needing to farm these for a while. Alright, day 59. I left the nether, found me a jungle. I had to search this jungle, because you know what I needed? Melon seeds. And I would find them, eventually. Luckily I had a bed, it was nighttime, so plop that bad boy down. And hit the sack. Alright, day 60. The day I've been waiting for for the whole series. Finally found melons. Took me absolutely forever. But now, I can make health potions. And well, biggest thing. Sell melons to my villagers. For big profit. You'll see. Oh, you'll see. Big profit. My adventure was finally coming to an end. Was a big adventure though. Came back with nether wart, blaze rods, and melons. Pretty much mission success if you ask me. And I even made it back alive. Because this is hardcore, and I gotta stay alive. Day 61, time to put them resources to use. Made me some brewing stands. Ah, finally. Potions, blaze powder. I had it all now. It was time. One of my biggest fears in the series was, uh... You know, burning to death. So, first potion I made, fire resistance. You know, considering I had a village under my house, cats and rock golems were just spawning continuously. So I finally just tamed one of the cats. I was getting lonely, so... Day 62, tamed another cat. I was kind of excited, I guess. And well, I bred both of them. Had me a baby cat now. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these cats, but they keep the creepers away. Alright, back in another. On a journey for mushrooms. Went ahead and tried out my fire resistance potion. Can't be too safe on hardcore Minecraft, so... Look at me, parkouring around the lava. The real reason I wanted these mushrooms was because I needed to make, you know, the potion of weakness. With this potion of weakness, I would be able to turn... Zombie villagers. And just like that. Splash it. Give it a golden apple. And make it yours. On day 63, I became the zombie doctor. It finally changed. Brought it up to the house. And well, it wouldn't take a job. Turns out, it was useless. Alright. Day 64. Now that I had nether wart, I could plant some. So, put down the soul sand. Placed it. Now had nether ward farm. So, infinite potions. Finally, with little effort, my villagers had reached max capacity. No more breeding. There were too many. I went ahead and boated to the nearby island. 
I needed dirt for the watermelon farm, and I just wanted to use the shovel. Day 65, I began the watermelon farm. This would make me so rich. Wouldn't even need anything. Just watermelons. That's all I needed in life. Turns out, though, watermelons don't grow on stone. Day 66, I outlined the farm with half slabs. I wanted to be able to walk, you know. So. Day 67, I tilled the land. I needed to plant my melons. And I did. I actually even bone mealed them. I needed melons now. I needed production going. While doing the melons, I was rudely interrupted by these pillagers. I ended up getting the bad omen effect. And well, a raid was started right on my island. Luckily for me, I was pretty prepared. I mean, come on. Just as a precaution, I went ahead and added a little bit to the wall. I also needed a bow, so might as well just make one. We're rich, remember? Plenty of arrows to go around. Don't have infinity yet, so this will do. And as you can see, I had my own little outpost. Day 68, the raid was still going. It was still, you know, fairly easy. I wasn't really worried until this point. I had no idea what these creatures were that were on me. And I was probably the most scared I have been for the whole series. And apparently they just can go through walls. And yeah, I ran into a hole, but luckily bows seem to counter them pretty well. It's, you know, not hard to hit the shot, so. At this point, the raid was completely worth it. I got the totem of undying. And now, I really didn't need to be that scared. I always had one extra shot at life. Now, I knew going into this raid, it was either going to make or break the series. I was pretty confident in myself, though. But I knew that if, you know, we did beat it and we got the totem of undying, the series would be set and I'd make it. I really wouldn't have to worry. Did it. Hero of the village. Ah. Uh, honestly, could have been harder. The hardest part was those little flying creatures that go through walls, but it was now time to use the villagers to get rich. And they loved me. Look at me. Day uh, 69. I used the villagers and sold a lot of sticks because I needed profit. With all these villager trades, I was level 31. Went ahead and enchanted me a diamond axe with silk touch. This is huge. Now I could combine these. Make me an Efficiency 5, Silk Touch, and Breaking 3 Axe. Went and traded some more sticks for emeralds. Still didn't have the melons going at this point. Now that I had so many emeralds, went ahead and bought me two mending books. Needed to put this on some tools. I was tired of repairing. Finally made my way to the melon farm. If you can't tell, I'm severely disappointed. Day 69, I slept with the villagers because I'm their protector. They treat me like a king. Day 70. Made me a cleric. Gotta get them into pearls. Also, got me an Unbreaking 3 librarian, as well as an Infinity librarian. Huge upgrades. Day 71. Tore apart my melon farm. Had to place dirt instead of stone, because melons don't grow on stone. Day 72. Still at the melon farm. You know, got me some more melon seeds. Went ahead and planted them. Day 73, I did farming all day, but I'm not going to show you melons again, so. Day 74, as you can see, tearing up the stone, replacing it with dirt, actually paid off. Combine these swords so I could get XP efficiently. When you log in on Halloween. You know what I want to do? Hey, my helmet. Yo! Finally had to repair the OG pickaxe. Day 75, back to the nether. The place I probably hate most, honestly. I just, I can't stand the magma cubes and the ghasts. Anyway, I came here to do a mission. I wanted to make a nice, flat, safe, secure roadway straight to the nether fortress. And in doing so, I had to deal with ghasts, of course. But this one just ran away, so didn't even get to get rid of him. I made it all the way to the nether fortress, made me a nice road, and well, I took what I needed, yet again. Day 76, went ahead and marked my entrances, you know. I wanted it to stand out among the nether. I always needed to be able to find my way home. This is hardcore. You could run out of food, you know. You never know what happens. Found me some more glowstone. 
Need it for potions. Need it for lighting. You can never have too much glowstone, honestly. 77, still in the nether. Just doing some upgrades. Just want to make things safe and secure. I I don't know. I just I don't I don't like the Nether. I just need it to be safe at all times, even though it's really not even possible. Anyway, time to go back home. I snatched up some more soul sand while I was in the Nether. I was able to expand the Nether Wart farm, and look at that, a whole field of Nether Wart. So nice. Went ahead and farmed me up some more melons with my new Silk Touch axe. On day 78, I finally sold melons for emeralds. This was a big moment for me. I waited so long. After trading, I went underground for a bit. And in case you didn't know, like if you see dirt in the ground, just mine it with a shovel. Like it's so fast. Anyway, I found diamonds, so that's cool. Wow, well, I found more diamonds. And I feel like I just have to show you guys because it's so soothing mining diamonds with a fortune three pickaxe and just watching multiple diamonds fall out of one node. Day 79, another day of farming. You know what I had to do? Pull out the axe, start mining melons. Went ahead and did some tree farming as well, because, well, this big old tree finally grew. And I probably needed some wood at this point, so might as well. And there she is. She's gone. Obviously, after mining melons, I made my way down to the villagers to use them yet again. Day 80. This is when things actually get serious. I finally turned my villager into a zombie villager. Obviously, on my world, I'm known as the zombie doctor, so you know what I had to do. I had to change him while waiting for him to turn back into a villager. I did some work outside at the house. You know, why not? Voila, back to a villager. I now could trade one melon for one emerald. On day 81, I decided I needed another one of those villagers. So, we're gonna cure us another one. Went ahead and lured this zombie up top, stuck him in a boat, and well, he was beating me while I was in the boat, sadly, but, you know, it's fine. It's day 82. I had plans to do this trim on the base, but I just now got around to it, but kind of glad I did. It looks pretty nice. After doing the trim, I got around to some walls. You know, you can't really go wrong with these walls. They just look so clean. Cats are still spawning on my island due to my underground village. Anyway, put some of this glowstone to work. Finally singled out this farming villager. Thought I had it in the room with the zombie, but I guess it smelled the zombie and... Skirt! No need to fear. I caught it. And turned it into a zombie. And there we have it. Yet another zombie. And of course, you know who I am. The zombie doctor. And the zombie doctor strikes again and just like that i now could sell melons to two villagers and on day 83 i was about to make it three look at me riding the minecart i was kind of a professional at this point if we're being honest i mean you know the drill i infected him trapped the zombie in there with him and well once he was infected i disposed of the zombie and zombies doctor strikes again. enchanted me a bow now that I had so many levels from trading. On day 84, I tried to infect my librarian mending villager. Turns out, he had different plans. However, I caught him and boated him in, so he didn't really escape. I know I've showed you guys melons like a lot, but I just feel like I have to show you because it's just so soothing and just amazing. Went to base and made this sword. Pretty good sword if you ask me. Day 85, Zombie Doctor, once more, on the Mending Villager. Gotta do it to him. Oh, and you know, went ahead for the farmer as well. Two for one deal here. Once my Mending Villager was healed, I decided I'd level him up. See what he'd give me. And well, he ended up giving me a Sharp 5 book. Ah, oh my god. On day 86, I gave my Villagers beds, as well as their own workstation because I wanted them to all be just happy and be willing to give me emeralds. On day 87, I struck again, you could say. I mean, I just had to do it at this point. There was really no turning back. So I guarded my other villagers from the zombie, and the zombie came in. Came back, and well, they returned. So time to dispose of him. You know what must be done. 
Day 88, you know, villager trades, one-to-one -one ratio. All four of these villagers just gave me XP, gave me emeralds. It was pretty nice. With the XP, I made these Prop 4 and Breaking 3 books. Ah, obviously, they needed Feather Falling, so I went for Feather Falling 3. Went ahead and combined them. There we go, Prop 4, Feather Falling 3, and Breaking 3. Still had some levels, so let's put that Sharp 5 book on the sword. Day 89, gotta level that Cleric. You know what I'm looking for, Ender Pearls. Sadly, this one got Bottle of Enchanting. I wasn't too hype about that. And honestly, I was like, hmm, maybe I should try it out. Maybe it's not bad. One started throwing them though, and I realized, wow, this sucks. Went ahead and made me a grindstone so I could disenchant stuff. Then I went on to enchant some legs. Got prop three and bring three. Day 90, the day that I got pretty good armor. Finally got this nice helmet. Then went on to combine these helmets, made an even better helmet. And then I also combined these pants. So got a nice pair of pants now. And just like that, our armor is almost ready for the Ender Dragon. It's day 91, and I combined these two bows to make a amazing bow. Power 5 and breaking 3, flame, punch 2, and affinity. On day 92, I didn't really do much. I watched villagers breed, and then this zombie groaned to my ear, and I dropped my sword. Day 93, my cleric finally would sell me Ender Pearls, so I went ahead and bought them, and then turned them all into Eye of Enders. Almost time to find the stronghold. I made some gold apples, because why not? Day 94, I finally acquired a Prot 3 book. Decided I'd put it on my chess piece. Now, I'd have a Prot 4 chess piece. As you can see, my helmet was ready, my chest was ready, my legs were ready. And all I had left was Feather Falling 4. Time to make some potions. I mean, let's be real here. This is hardcore. Can one really be overprepared for the Ender Dragon? I'm bringing health pots and strength potions and fire resistance. I'm bringing it all. I'm going to be ready for this fight, and I'm not going to lose. Okay, but seriously, day 95, I was very close to disposing of these cats. I needed to place blocks between the enchant table. Lucky for them, finally got him to move. Made me a Feather Falling 2 book. I already had one as well, so that makes Feather Falling 3. Day 96, I finished the boots. Prop 4 and Breaking 3, Feather Falling 4. Ah, look at that set of armor. So nice. Ender Dragon ready. Okay, so while editing this, this just looks so nice, and I feel like you guys should see this. This is how I farm my trees. You staircase up and then just spiral down. So easy. Ha! You thought I was going to make you watch that. Alright, time to get our potions. Look at all of them. Health pots, strength twos. What more could you ask for? We're ready. Day 97. The journey is about to begin. First, I had to make sure my inventory was completely ready. I wanted all the blocks. I wanted all the ender pearls. I wanted everything I could think of. There was no going back. I either made it or I didn't. What the? Oh. Alright, we're going this way, boys. Day 98. We set sail across the Let's ocean. No clue where we'd go, but I followed the Ender Eyes hey. wherever they took me. That's bang. Just keeps. Yeah. Okay, wait, is it going down? <gasps> oh my god, I'm here! Okay, we're here. Just keep digging, just keep digging. Oh! Oh! We made it! Oh! Homie, back it up. Yo! Yo! Back up! They can't. Is it seriously only one? You know what? Just. You know what, Diamond? Just stay there. I don't have time for you. There we go. Oh, wait. wait, wait. We will go cold if you don't. <gasps> Found it. Oh my god. Chat, drop a like, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think so. Wait, okay. that is such a scam, bro. 
Literally, look, th this was closed. It was closed in. Told you you have to break all the walls, man. <laughs> Um, it's day 99. We have to live in the stronghold for a day. It's awkward. 100 day challenge. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, that's so such a nice sound. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Hey. Ah. We did it. We did it. fun. Um, however, now we have another issue. We have to drop a block because, uh,. We need all these bookshelves. So. Okay, well, I have two st two and a half stacks of bookshelves. Hello, library. Oh, this is so big, library. So many books. So many. Oh, so many books. <gasps> Bedtime. Oh my God. Here we go. We're gonna crouch. Let me hop in. <gasps> oh my. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay, you guys saw that too, though. I literally fell to my death. I'll, I'll go get your inhaler. <laughs> I literally fell. Like, that's literally what just happened. Oh. 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 Dude, my heart, bro. My heart hurts. So, after my panic attack there. It was time to get rid of the end crystals so I could take care of this dragon. I went in without a pumpkin, because, you know, who needs a pumpkin? Remember guys, safety first. Gotta place that water bucket. In case you get knocked off, you need somewhere to go safely. Went ahead and hit that end crystal. And, well, now that all of them were gone, I could hit the ender dragon. And can I just say, I'm really glad that I made this bow. It, it actually, like, look at the damage. It's it's pretty big damage, you know? The dragon landed, so, you know, I drank my strength potion and ran in there. Wanted to try out the sword. And, well, of course, it hit me. But don't worry. It came down again, and this time, I was ready. I ran in there with my sharp five sword, my strength potion, already drank. Started smacking him, doing big damage. Then he launched me up. But I had a water bucket, but missed. I'm not dream, guys. That fail didn't stop me. My aim was superior, and I just launched arrows on the dragon. Not much he could really do. I was just too good at the game. What can I say? Sadly for the dragon, I thought it was, you know, coming in for another landing, but I had different plans. I do apologize for looking at my inventory at this point. Kind of uh, anticlimactic. I probably should have watched the dragon explode, but hey, XP, we'll take it. Me being the good Minecrafter I am, I punched the egg and well, got a torch. Had to take that baby home, had to set it up as a trophy. I beat the game, technically, still have the wither to go, but we now have the dragon egg, big moves. All right, I did it. I beat 100 days of hardcore Minecraft. I beat the dragon, and you watch the whole story unfold. Now, if you enjoyed the video, I need you to leave a like, and I need you to comment whether or not I should do this series to 200 days. As always, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. It is free. You can unsubscribe at any point.